hello everyone welcome back again with me on third conego channel today in this video i will show you how to free dynamic drawn propeller like this we will know the force propeller and without wasting time let's start it first we will make a part for fluid region go to insert go to component click new part click this free area see automatically make a new part feature edit this part we will make part near the propeller Active plane Make this 10 for millimeter OK Go to this plane Active circle, click from this point to this point, active smart dimension, make this circle diameter is 130mm, go to feature, active extrude boss, make extrude parameter is 36mm. OK See Exit edit part Make this part transparent After that, we active the SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation Go to Add Ins Active SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation Go to Flow Simulation Active Wizard My project name is Safety Propeller. Click Next. Choose SI Unit. Click Next. Choose External Analysis. Check Exclude Cavities without Flow Condition. And check Exclude Internal Space. Check Gravity and Rotation. Click Next. We choose Air Flow Fluid Parameter. Check humidity, click next, click next, and finish. See? Reduce size computational domain, go to edit definition, just doing like this. See, hide the compositional domain. Now we insert rotary region. Click this part. My rotating region parameter is 22,689 rpm. And change the direction. See. The rotating direction is changed. OK. Now insert goals. Click global goals. Check velocity y axis average. Check y axis force. OK. Now change name of goals like this. Hide this part 
Now we create global mesh. We use standard mesh. Okay. Click run. Run this simulation. Just wait the simulation done. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. After simulation is done, we can see the result. Go to result. Now we want to see flow transient stories. Click insert. Click all part for parameter. Make 300 point. Choose line with arrow. We will see the pressure. Okay. Two thousand years later. See, after done, we can see value of pressure. The pressure range is one hundred kPa, and the pressure direction go to top. this result now we insert surface plot insert all part choose contour parameter we will see pressure choose streamline and vector for streamline and vector, we choose velocity. Okay. See? Maybe we unchoose the streamline and vector parameter. See, personal center in brushless motor. Use prop to see value of pressure in the parts. This is the display I active the flow drum story and surface plot. Now let's see the goals. Check all goals, click show, see velocity value is 11.5 meter per second and the first value is 2.9 newton 
minus mean is the direction of a loop. Its mean propeller will leave the brushless motor with flu is range 3 newton. I think it's the end tutorial. I hope you can learn solid workflow simulation use my video tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.